What's good, it's Jay Jones from Kick Genius, and today we have a review on the OG Bread 1. As you can see, it's nothing really different from the colorway we experienced from the Band 1 in 2011, but I am happy to have it, and I'm going to give you guys my opinion on it. Now we know this is the shoe that started MJ's and Nike's legacy. As you can see, as I mentioned, you have the Bread colorway, all white midsole, and then you have your Nike Air Brandon instead of your regular Jordan logo here. Now, a lot of people wondered about the quality on these, and I must say it's not bad, but it definitely didn't compare to the Band 1. The Band 1, as you can see, you have your same colorway of the shoe, but like the leather is way thicker, especially around your ankle collar right here, which I must say, it, it just feels a lot more flexible. This really just goes to show that Jordan brand really could put together a good shoe. I mean, this shoe was just made in 2011 for the price of 110. These right here were 140. So you automatically notice that you have a price increase for a quality reduction. Doesn't really make sense. Overall, for me personally, it definitely fell in the top 10 of 2013, um, along with the Chicago ones. If you guys wanna take a look right here, like these two colorways were definitely a must have for me. I was fortunate enough to get these, man, and I was happy. The quality is decent. Like I said, the price was fair. Can't really go wrong with it. So that pretty much wraps it up with me. Again, it's a very simple shoe. I love simplicity. But let me tell you about my experience. Um, I probably woke up early that morning around 6 or 7. Uh, went to the store. was probably like 6th in line. And uh, everything was going smooth until this dude started talking to me. And as he was talking to me, like... Like, his breath smelled like, like straight boo-boo. And he, you know what I'm saying, he just kept talking. And, and I'm looking like, did you really get up and, like, not brush your teeth? You just got in line. and Like, you didn't floss or brush or anything. Dude come at me like, yeah, man, the OG bread ones, they crazy. Like, I had to cop them. I had to. Every time dudes that had to, I'm like, so other than that, my experience wasn't too bad. In my opinion, they do run true to size, so you know how that go. If you wear a 10, get the 10. On the flip side of that, a lot of these new retros are running slightly big, and it sucks because you can't really try them on just because they're selling out too fast, so you have to use your personal judgment on that one. Jay Jones can't help you. One more thing, don't be the kid who wears a size 9 and feel the need to get the size 12. Like, just chill. Like, Lead that for the actual size 12 person. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick view, the quick look at the OG Bread 1. Again, I am happy to have them. And as always, it's Jay Jones, Kid Genius. I'm out.